Hi, I'm Hunter Norton. Today we're going to be looking at Intrepid Izzy on the Sega Dreamcast. So let's check it out. So here it is, Intrepid Izzy. It goes right into the story. We get a comic book style kind of cutscene, which are pretty well done. The illustrations explain that Izzy finds a chest and releases a demon. Genie, Jin. Reminds me of that fella from The Wishmaster, but blue and from a chest. Is. Oh my god. Yes. The shit just hit the fan, didn't it? Let's get this over with, shall we? But he ain't ever none of that, as he creates a mini earthquake and sends you to the first level. He sends you to some kind of Aztec ruins kind of place where you get full control of Izzy. Now one thing I will say about this game, I love the controls. I found them really responsive, great for jumping, brawling, even has a street fighter, Hadouken! But it's kind of said with the pitch of a hamster getting kicked in the balls. <laughs> I mean, I wanted a nice, loud Hadouken. Anyway, it's a welcome surprise. It's a platformer, as you've guessed. It's very beautiful artwork. It immerses you into a world as you play and get invested in the game. The enemies look great. They can be a bit lively when there's three or more, so definitely don't get too cocky, as I did after five minutes thinking I've mastered the game. One thing I didn't expect, it just looked like a platformer. The goal is to get to the other side of the screen, right? End the level, start new level. But I ended up in a village where you can explore and walk around, which totally caught me off guard. I mean, there's a restaurant, Izzy's house, and there's an arcade where you can play mini games. Have a look at these. And what we got here, 3D wheel? It looks like a road rash game. <laughs> it's a shame they didn't put a few pipes in and chains to hit people as you go along. But yeah, it just looks like one of them games you cruise around and basically just try not to crash into anyone. Simple enough. Next. And the next one we got, Ultra Bazoop, I think it is. I'm just getting flashbacks of Mario underwater, trying to, <laughs> you know, dodge all the fish and all that kind of stuff. Again, I mean, what do you expect? But hey, it's good fun. And our third and final game, Plur. This one's a just an overview shooter, really. I've done the best at this one, surprise, surprise. Going around massacring people and all that. I actually got the high score on this one. Out of all three, this is definitely my favourite. Now one thing I did want to talk about is what age bracket is this game designed for? I mean, I don't mind an easygoing platformer, sure, but the first few levels are called The Blobby Blob Blob Dungeon and Awesome Town, <laughs> which had me wondering, did we not want to use a little bit more imagination than this? Hmm. I mean, normally I'm used to playing games like this. And you can brush them and keep them clean, as well as give them treats and... Anyway, getting back on topic. So Intrepid Izzy is definitely a different vibe of what I've been playing for for a while now, but it's a really enjoyable game. It has a very colourful background and mini bosses with great imagination, but one thing I haven't spoke about yet is the music. I mean, these are some bangers. All in all, what's my review? I've heard other people say it's not the most imaginative game in the world and not much replay value, but I disagree. There's a good amount of character upgrades and quality here and definitely deserves to be in your Dreamcast library. If you're a fan of classic platformers and, you know, a bit of a twist, or just looking for a bit of fun, then this is definitely one for you. I give this a solid 7 out of 10. I'll leave this to play out a little and I'll see you on the next one.